Let's talk today about how to gain confidence on Rebirth. Look, this is easily one of my most requested videos, and in my opinion, it's very simple what you need to do to start to play more confident. There's four things that we're going to be talking about throughout today's video while breaking down this gameplay and really paying attention to how do I, as a 4KD player, play with so much confidence. Now, the first thing and the most important thing to start playing more confident is going to be execution, simply knowing that you can win a gunfight using your aim and movement. And in my opinion, it's very simple to get better aim and movement. I'm going to leave my video on how to do that down in the description below so that you can watch it after, but it's very prescriptive. It's simply repetition and getting that practice in, and that's going to pay dividends for you when it comes to playing confident, knowing that you can win gunfights. Now, we're going to pick this up. I've got one down below. As an aggressive player looking to drop high kills, I am going to farm this guy. This is why I'm waiting so long. This is for my aggressive players here that want to start dropping higher kill games. I'm just going to leave this guy as long as possible. He's not self-reviving. I'm waiting for the teammates to fly back in i take a little bit of a risk i don't have an internal timer i'm not counting seconds i'm just trying to wait as long as possible now before we jump into tip number two here if you are looking to get better rebirth or fortune's keep just consider hitting that subscribe button down below if you aren't already my whole goal is just to help you get better and i do tip videos every day now the second thing is going to be information and when i say that i'm talking about knowing where people are using uavs mini map pings to understand where people are because at the end of the day i think even right now a lot of you if i I told you where somebody was you probably have the ability to go kill that person so when we talk about confidence a lot of it comes down to execution and information knowing where people are and having the confidence to simply execute based on that information to win that gunfight and that's what we're going to see the majority of the time throughout this gameplay and like i said information is about kind of four main things uavs grabbing bounties if you don't know where anybody is you know pushing any red dot that you see right here i see people over in living quarters so I'm going to go ahead and push that way. Not totally sure where they are, but I'll figure that out as I get a little bit closer. And then the other option is to push to a hot area. There's still two more things that we need to talk about. One of which is going to be fighting with loadout guns right here. Obviously, a massive confidence boost massive confidence boost knowing that you are fighting with guns that you're comfortable with that you can hit shots with that have better mobility that have better ttks everything about loadout guns are going to be better so that kind of is the third thing and why we need to get loadout early and then start to push people especially early in first circle when other people are fighting with floor loot now right here i've got one inside so i'm gonna go ahead and push in we're able to tag this first one we break in but i see two right there so we get the first clean down right there immediately focus on the second enemy we get the down right there. I'm low health, and let's talk about information. The one thing we didn't talk about, of course, was the mini-map pings after a kill. So as I get this kill, I notice that there is two right here. You can see two. One's right below me. So we get the down right there. We get the second down. One is down below me pushing up, so I immediately have to react. Now, I'm not totally confident in this situation. I'm going to be totally honest with you, and if you had asked me, like, in, I'm not going to be able to answer that in the moment whether I'm confident. This is simply a reaction play, which is something that you can really start to do, especially my aggressive players, you know, as you are getting better at execution. I'm able to still win this gunfight especially kind of being low plates. I was down to only half a plate for two reasons. One, I don't know if you noticed, but he has not loadout guns. I don't. I think that kind of looked like an MP40, but I'm not sure. Whereas I have the fastest killing SMG possible, the Mark 05, or one of the fastest killing SMGs. And then when we talk about fighting out number there, right? I'm able to get the first guy down and thirsty cl or down clean. The second guy take a little bit of damage, and then I just react to the third guy. So when we start to talk about playing confident, we really see how it's simply just acting on information right here. We're gonna catch this guy outside here in a second, outside the window right there trying to push in so we're going to go ahead and rechallenge this why do i rechallenge especially out in the open well the confidence comes from i know where that person is and i'm going to go ahead and execute i'm going to hit my shots i'm going to use my movement now we stim because i wasn't totally sure who else was around me we're going to go ahead and grab these plates and keep going now one thing a little bonus tip here for you a hundred percent plates are going to give you that extra confidence boost if you caught me on stream before there are definitely certain games where i lack confidence simply because i don't have a lot of plates right so i'm 
you know, kind of stuck not fully being able to challenge teams, especially multiple players at once, because I don't have plates. Now, there's a few other kind of bonus tips that I am going to give you throughout this gameplay in terms of regaining confidence, how to determine whether you buy plates or buy a UAV. Right here, I want to just remind you that this game is about having fun. There was a reason that I went for the execution for content purposes here, but look, at the end of the day, I die here. I'm just going to be totally honest. I die here simply because I went for the execution. I, I get put in a tough spot if I just down and thirst that guy this guy's dead right here because I get the information then I execute I just lose that gunfight simply because he got the first shot off it is what it is don't forget that this game is about having fun and that's part of having confidence it's like hey it's resurgence we've respawned back in that's a little bonus tip for you we respawn back in you know if we die we re -queue. it's just a game it's not that serious even though we are looking to get better and improve but like still remember to have some fun with it every once in a while now right here am I confident um, I personally am confident. I'm confident because I'm I know that I can win a gunfight, or I'm I'm pretty sure that I can win a gunfight based on anticipation and execution. Would I like to have a plate? Yeah, I want a plate so that I can basically be equal health with the guy that I'm gonna be challenging. Still don't have that. We're gonna talk about this situation here in a second about how we play this. Let's talk about this moment right here. We're going to put this plate in. He's going to drop money after I request it. I'm obviously playing with TCAP, and we're, this third guy's a random. What do I do right here in this situation? I've got $6,100, okay? Now, think about the two things with confidence. We have execution and we have information. If you feel like you can execute well, you can get clean kills I'm going to buy a UAV right here. If you tell me where somebody is, I have confidence that I can execute upon that information and execute cleanly. If you feel like you struggle to win gunfights, you probably want to buy plates here so that you're full health and then go figure out where you're going to push. Like I said, I have confidence in my ability to execute, and this is where I always talk about that aim and movement are the most important things. They're more important than anything else, and of course, anticipation as well. By the way, I don't know if you noticed this. I catch the sniper, like, I think he's up top water tower. Yeah, he's up here. You can see the glint, which is why I, like, go and move. I'm like, nope, I'm going to go ahead and move, and look at the look at the cover that I created. Just a little bit of an IQ play right there. I don't really worry about my teammate at this point. I've got the UAV. We're going to go ahead and push into circle. By the way, I hate pushing out of circle. So while there are these teams over at living quarters, I don't love doing that because I, I don't want to have to worry about fighting circle. And at the end of the day, I can always hold those people later. But right here, knowing where enemies are, knowing there's two teams up this way, I don't know if they're on roof or third floor. Like, I have confidence to be able to get kills here because of my ability to execute. Use aim and movement to my advantage. We're going to see what we can find. We're not quite able to get that down, but we do tag him. And I know that there's a bunch of people up here. So we're going to go ahead and challenge. We're going to anticipate around the corner. I hear one to the left. Quick peek. We get the down. We get the thirst. We get the information. One more up there. So I'm going to go ahead and farm that guy. No, super unfortunate situation because I do get the clean kill, but I can't grab the plates, which is what I do need. Part of regaining confidence. We'll talk about regaining confidence in a second because we're going to have another situation come up here. We've got one flying in. We get the down. We can't quite get the thirst, which forces me to push up. I missed the ping that there is a guy right here. He's on my level. I actually got a little bit too aggressive kind of pushing this way. But this guy was going to challenge me immediately anyway. And notice that I just died there because I didn't have the information that that guy was there, right? So I don't fully understand that that player is sitting in that stairwell. I'm forced to kind of make a move on that enemy, which ends up putting me in a bad spot and I go down. Now, let's talk about regaining confidence because right here, you know, I uh, point number three was fighting with loadout guns, right? Always fighting with loadout guns or fighting with loadout as much as possible i get caught in an unfortunate situation here so how do i go about regaining confidence well the first thing is ha ask your teammates for help tcap has loadout i calm to my teammate that hey i've got people on the roof i don't have loadout guns can you help me get them back can you help me get them back so he's going to go ahead and take this angle over up top here he gets caught in a bad spot but he's going to be able to execute on that information that he has and I'm just looking to get loadout guns because at the end of the day, even if I have my loadout guns, the only thing that I lost are quick fix and combat scout. I still have overkill technically in the sense that I still have my loadout guns, which is a huge advantage. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to pinch this. Now I grab my loadout. I'm going to see what I can find. I see that guy rotating. T-Cap's in a better spot, but I do need to go help him. So I grab my stims. I grab my throwing knife. And by the way, right here, like I'm back. Right? I don't have my perk 1, I don't have my perk 3, fine, but I've got my Marco, I've got my NZ, I've got my Stims, I've got my throwing knives, i got to be a little bit conscious about ammo, but 
Now I know where somebody is, right? I know where this last guy is. I'm going to go ahead and farm him. I'm going to let that guy live so that, you know, we can let those teammates respawn back in, let us get more kills. But, like, I'm back to having confidence in that situation because I have everything that I need. I got the information. I've got my loadout guns. And then it's about execution, which I do have confidence. So the most important thing is really to work on your aim and movement. If there's one thing that I could tell you is to work on your aim and movement. It takes 10 minutes per day. That's it. 10 minutes. And I'm about to get clustered and then we're going to go ahead and keep pushing here so let me just talk about this it takes 10 minutes before you drop in and some of you have heard me say this before but 10 minutes of practice before you drop in and warming up removes that first blender game how many of you drop in you drop in cold it's been a little bit of time before you or since the last time that you played and you get absolutely smoked in the blender even though the lobby's not that good you get absolutely smoked because the game feels fast you're missing shots and everything like that so take 10 minutes warm up it's going to help you execute exponentially because you're going to be practicing your aim and movement as well now right here i've got two people two teams fighting over in decon keep in mind when i'm acting on shots being fired i'm acting on teams fighting so you got to be careful of walking into a situation where you're going to be fighting multiple teams all of a sudden you go from third partying somebody in two teams to being the one that's being third party if that makes sense right you go from pushing to all of a sudden you get put in a bad spot where now you're being third party while you're fighting one of them we get the down and thirst Go ahead and challenge right here. We get the information, one right this way. So we're going to go ahead and challenge. We get the down. I catch one right behind the pole. So we're immediately going to go ahead and get out of here. We're going to quick reload. I hear the self behind me. So all of a sudden, what is this situation that I'm dealing with? Well, let's break this down from a confidence perspective. Still have confidence in my execution. I've got one over this way, which is a piece of information that I have. I've got one that just self revive. I heard him behind me. So I'm going to go ahead and re-challenge here. We get the easy down. We get the thirst. Notice that one is straight back. So that's the information that I have. Once again, we are going to try to farm this guy, let those teammates respawn back in. And as I, I calm this to my stream while I was actually playing this game, you see kind of the lengths that I go to farm. That guy was right in front of me. But I have confidence that I can get away from that player using my movement to, you know, let that team live and let them respawn back in. Now we're going to go ahead and challenge here. This is a little bit, again, of a reaction play. I see one right there, so we're going to go ahead and use my aim and movement. We're going to use Deddy to our advantage as well. We get this guy down and thirsted. We immediately challenge this second guy. Why? Because I didn't take any damage. I know where this player is based on information, and I know that I can execute. This guy was a good player too, but we on ADS, we track with the hip fire. Last one's pushing right behind me. So we're going to go ahead. We play this a little bit slow, and we'll slow this down for you. You'll see how I shoulder this corner. I shoulder the left side. I take a little bit of damage. Then we go ahead and bunny hop this corner. Let's slow it down. We bunny hop this corner. Right? That kind of not only breaks his aim assist, it really forces him to track. That is very difficult to track. Now, we immediately slide this way. You can kind of see that which way he's moving. Obviously, the next contract bonus thing is blocking his head. But he's kind of aiming all the way to where I was. Now he retracts, but at this point, he's out of bullets. He runs out of bullets. You kind of see him going for the reload. I hit headshots, still have 22 left, and that's why I played a little bit more patient and played that reload right there using that kind of pillar to my advantage. Now, you know, again, that's that was a little bit of an advanced play. I'm not saying that you have to be that confident in that situation. You could have easily tried to get away there or, you know, played that a little bit differently, but that's the level of execution, level of confidence that we can get to as we get better at that aim and movement. Because at the end of the day, all that situation was was execution, right? That's another level of execution. I had the information just based on minimap pings. But again, that, you know, that's not a really a confidence type situation. We're going to go and hit shots right here. We get the down. We've got the 19 bomb. We got the 20 bomb right there. Last kill goes down. And there's a 20 kill win in a pretty good lobby right there. So I hope you found today's video helpful about playing confident. Start to work on your execution. Work on information. If you did make it this far, I appreciate it. And go ahead and watch the aim and movement video. Let's get better today. And I will see you tomorrow.